Well, good morning, my brothers and sisters. Uh, this is Prophet West. Hope y'all doing this, doing good this Saturday morning. Hope all is well. And I just hope that the words that God has put in my heart has been really helping you, been really um, encouraging you. This is my desire and this is my uh, motive. My motive is that you reach, that you reach your maximum. My motive is that you hit your target. My motive is that I'm pleasing in God's sight and that you miss hell and that, that heaven embrace you. And so my job is to help in any kind of way I can to get you to see the other side. When you're going through bad things and bad situations and when you feel like it's the end, it's not the end, it's the beginning. And so my job is just to encourage you, keep encouraging you. And I do this every day. And it's an expression. It's an expression as unto God. And I love, I love teaching. I love talking about God's word. I love helping God's people. Uh, today, uh, briefly, I had a thought. I had a thought. And basically, uh, it's going to be uh, Jesus. Basically, it's going to be about Jesus. And it's going to be about the Bible says, as Christ was in the world, so are we. And he says that we're going to do greater work. So, so the Bible says when Jesus and Luke, the 22nd chapter, when he was in his final hour, the, and when he was praying, he was praying. The Bible says when he was in agony, he prayed more earnestly when he was in agony. And what is agony? Agony is pain, affliction, torment, all kind of stuff. And this is many of you, you're in agony, you're in pain, you're in torment, you're under pressure. And the pressure's getting worse, the pressure's getting worse, 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 worse. But at that place where the pressure is getting worse, God wants you to pray even harder. As, as intensified as the pressure is, as intensified as the pain is, as intensified as the hurt is, pray cry out to God see because God is going to heal you God is going to deliver you and God is going to give you strength even in a even in a case if God maybe it's not time for you to get out of this test so what God will do if you pray hard if you seek him worship him magnify him reach out to him cry out to him what's going to happen God is going to give you strength to bear what you're facing. See, because in you bearing what you're facing, you're delivering something. You're delivering something large. You're developing. There's There are things, that the, the gifts that God has given, the gifts that God is putting you are being developed through affliction. They are being developed through pressure. They are being developed through pain. They are being developed through suffering. It's been developed. It's been developed. And so what God is God is doing, he, he's doing this. He's doing a new thing in you. He's doing a great thing in you. He's doing a thing in you. He's doing He's doing something different. See, this is why you feel uncomfortable. You feel like uh, 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 you're just in a different place. There's this scenery and everything. That's just because God has did this. God puts you in this place. He puts you in this place and he wants you to push. He wants you to push out your breakthrough. He wants you to push out your deliverance. He wants you to push out your peace. See, some of you, you're under pressure. God is delivering. God causing you to birth out peace. Some of you, you're, you're surrounded by confusion. And what God is doing, he's causing you to, to birth out peace of mind, joy, a sound mind. God is working on you. God is working on you. He's working on you. He's doing a new thing. And so uh, be patient. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with your brothers and be patient with your sisters. And just know, just take take one day at a time. One day at a time. The devil's going to fight, but see, but God is greater. And to know that if the devil's fighting you, that says fighting your stuff is fighting you. That just means that you're on, you're on track. Because the Bible says, as Christ was and was, so are we. And as Christ suffered, so were we. And so, um, just like I said, in your pain, in your agony, pray harder. This is this is this is the push that God is using to deliver you to birth out, to birth out that voice, to birth out that understanding, to birth out that wisdom, to birth out uh, th that maturity, to birth out that 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 balance that you need, uh, that 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 level that God is taking you to. See, you want you need to birth it out. You need to birth it out, and you birth it out through prayer.
as tough as it get, as painful as it get, as unbearable as it get, keep praying, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Be determined. Be determined. Be determined because this is your defining hour. This is your defining hour. This is your finding hour that God is going to show his power through your life. This is your defining hour. And don't wither. Don't wither up under the pressure. Because if you wither up under the pressure while you're being made, you run the risk of being undeveloped. God wants you to be completely developed. That's why he said be still. See, because if you move, you run the risk of being undeveloped. But also, in you moving, at the moment that you move, was the very exact word that God was speaking to you that you needed. But you missed it. And that's why the devil did it. That's why the devil went upside your head before. Because God has always been speaking oftentimes when we don't see it. Oftentimes when it catches us a certain kind of way, it's because something took our mind away. We was distracted. We weren't focused. We weren't paying attention. But if you lock into God, God is like a scud missile, if I can say that, because prayer is like having a direct connection. Prayer is a call in there, and that means that God is right there. And when you call God, God is going to show up. Let God show up in your pressure. Let God show up and become your coach. Let him become your midwife. Let him become the one that causes your delivery. They come forth quickly. They come forth fast because you've been suffering for a long time. Those have been suffering for a long time, but your deliverance is going to come fast. Your healing is going to come fast. Suddenly, suddenly. And see the thing about it, you don't think God has been moving. See, but God has been moving on the current. See why you've been, see many of you, you're like the, you're like the, the duck above the water that people see. Many people see the duck above the water. And it seems like the duck is cool. And it seems like the duck got it all together. But little do people know if you could just go under the water and see their feet pedaling, trying to just stand on top of the water. And this is many of you. You have you hide, you hide a lot of stuff. And see, all you're trying to do is just keep your head above the water. You're trying to keep your feet going. Faith. Just keep fighting. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Good fight of faith. Hang in there. Hang around. God bless you. Have a good day. Maybe call it. <laughs>